welcome back to this channel and today we are looking at question number 21 of the just concluded december sitting business data analytics and uh, this was under section uh, 2 where you are to do three questions uh, question 21 question 22 and question number 23 so far we have tackled question number 23 and today we are tackling question number 21 we shall read through and then we tackle this particular question. So the question reads, Work We Limited is a public entity which has grown in recent years by acquiring established business entities. Established business entities. Directors of Work We Limited have identified two potential entities targeted for takeover. The directors believe that the shareholders of the two target company will be receptive to a takeover. As a prerequisite to the takeover decision, the directors have tasked a firm of consultants to carry out a cross-sectional analysis of the financial statement of the two potential target companies which operate in the same industry sector. The financial statement of the two entities, as of 30 September 2024, are shown below. So we have the statement of uh, profit or loss. So we have two companies, Remy and we have Copino Limited. And we have the statement of financial position there. And we are required common size statement of profit or loss for the two entities for the year ended that is September 2024, and common size statement of financial position as of that is September 2024. And we advise the directors of work we on the base company for takeover. We shall start with number A. I just do it here. I'll just do it here. My number A, the common size. <coughs> A common sense statement of financial statement so for the two companies so we shall have the one for Remy and uh, Papino Remy and Papino Limited Remy and Papino Limited so remember when we talk about the common size financial statement <clears throat> uh, for the income statement uh, common size generally entails eh, expressing the financial statement in form of percentages so that you can be able to interpret with ease the financial statement or the financial performance so for the income statement we normally uh, express them as a percentage of sales percentage of sales and for the financial position as a percentage of total assets as a percentage of total assets there are two types of common size we have the vertical and we have the horizontal vertical is whereby we are just dealing with one year and the horizontal is whereby we are dealing with several years uh, yeah, more than one year that one we call it horizontal but for just one particular year is uh, vertical and that's what we are performing here vertical and you express it as a percentage of total sales uh, or revenue so in this case uh, for emi we shall take sales over sales uh, of which we shall lock the sales remember sales will be the revenue will be a constant value all the other values are expressed as a percentage of sales so we shall lock the sales and we enter and we drag this or we auto fill and we convert it into percentage yeah into percentage and even you can increase the number of decimal to keep the small places yeah that way so that will be our common size for remy remy limited and for this other company we take this and we divide by the same and we lock the sales we enter and we drag this and uh, we express it as a percentage to two decimal place and this one i can uh, have it that way so that is our common size uh, our common size financial statement for the two companies and you can be able to see how the two are performing how the two are performing so in terms of performance uh, if we look at the profit uh, you know, look at the profit margin and uh, the net profit so for the margin here we are having uh, what we call what so for remy has 24 percent gross profit margin and for popino has 18 has 18 percent and for the net profit uh, net profit margins uh, so for the net profit this one has 14 and the other one has a 7.5 you will find that Remy Limited is performing better compared to Popino Limited because here we are having 14 and here we are having 24. And uh, if we look at this matrix, the gross profit margin and the gross profit uh, net profit margin, 
then you will advise them to take over Remy instead of Popino because Popino has a net profit margin which is less compared to Remy and even the gross profit which is less. Even when you look at the operating profit, uh, yeah, percentages are still uh, for Popino is less than that one for Remy. So that is a common size for profit or loss. We'll do the second one for the financial position. Common size statement of financial position. Yeah. And we shall do the same thing. We shall have Remy and Popino. So Remy and Popino Limited. So for common size financial statement uh, position, we have said here we are expressing it in terms of uh, financial, in terms of uh, total assets, in terms of total assets. So we shall take this. And we divide by the total assets and our total asset is this one which we shall lock the total asset and uh, here we shall drag out of fill up to that point and we use to the small less the same for this one we take this and we divide with total assets which we shall lock and we out of fill to that point percent to the smaller yeah that way that will be our common size statement of financial position common size statement of financial position and we'll find that for this one uh, I think that's all even here we can have this and bottom yeah, that way. So the ones that don't have something, we can eliminate this. We can eliminate this. Yeah, this one. And I think that's the only one that we don't have anything. Yeah, that way. And you'll find that now for financial position, uh, this one has 50 and this one has 54. But you'll find that uh, for Remy, uh, Popino has what we call the right of use of an asset. This is an asset that is leased. Huh? This is not our own asset. Yeah, this one we are leasing and that's why their non-current asset is higher at 54. Their non-current asset is higher at 54 compared to this one. But when you look at the equity part of it, this one is 32 and this one is 29. And when you look at the debt, you can do the debt perspective huh? You'll find that if it is non current liability, this one has 46, huh? but this one will be 48. 22 and 26, that one will be 48 because of the lease. Huh? Yeah, we have that liability because we are leasing an asset, and therefore that one will increase the gearing level or the risk level. Huh? And therefore, the best company that they should uh, acquire or the best company they should take over should be Remy, Remy Limited. Yeah. Remy Limited should be the best company to acquire because of those key parameters uh, that we have uh, mentioned, uh, the key parameters that we have mentioned. And therefore, if you are to answer that part, uh, yeah, answering that part, uh, that was part B. So to answer part C here, to answer part C, we shall say, and as this one, they should take over. Yeah, they should take over. They should... Uh, Take over uh, Remy Limited, Remy Limited, Remy Limited, Remy Limited uh, because it has uh, the highest, the highest, uh, the highest gross profit, gross profit, gross profit. And net profit margin was profit and net profit margin, net profit margin, net profit margin, and also, and also, it has a low gearing, low gearing, gearing level, low gearing level. 
Yeah, low gearing level and the gearing level you have said is because of the risk. Huh? Yeah, low gearing level and the gearing level is because of the risk that they may be having uh, as a result of uh, having the lease. Remember when you are leasing, then the risk, you have what you call the obligations uh, that you have to meet for the owner of the asset. And that one increases uh, the risk level of the asset that we are, uh, we are leasing. So that's how that particular question was supposed to be done for 20, 20 marks. How that question was supposed to be done for 20 marks. So continue subscribing if you are new to this particular channel. Thank you.